and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about whole steps, half steps, known as diatonic and chromatic semitones, and whole tones. This is for the basic theory exam and it's usually question two. Now diatonic semitone, all right? Semitone also is another word for a half step. And let me just show you quickly here on this little keyboard here. A half step would go from a white key to a black key, or from a black key to a white key. From a white key to a white key, because there's no note in between, you see there's no black key in between there. Those are half steps. Now, what they will ask you in the basic theory exam is to write out uh, the notes for the whole tone, diatonic, or chromatic semitones on, you know, on the staff itself. So for instance, let's take a look right here if you can zoom in. This is a note on a line to a space. They're different. So think of diatonic for the letter D for different. Right? So diatonic, look where it looks like on the, on the keyboard. E to F. But now take a look down here. E to E sharp. You see how it's the same on the same line? Both notes are on the same line, this, except this one has the accidental of a sharp in front. These are called chromatic semitones, but if you take a look here, they're the exact same notes and harmonically. So if you listen to the video before, and harmonic means the same sound, but two, but spelt differently on the staff. Also, you could be asked to write a whole tone. So take a look here, from E to F sharp. So from E to F sharp. And this is what it looks like on the keyboard. See, there's a note in between, you see? We skipped him. This is the note that we skipped, so we know that this is a whole step. So a half plus a half equals a whole. So let me show you the type of question you could get asked in an exam. So here is a question. Name each of the following intervals as diatonic, so with a DS, chromatic, with a CS, or WT whole tone. So you're going to look down at the question they want you to answer. Now the first thing you have to see is that there if there is a key signature, and the key signature is always after the clef. If there's going to be a key signature, it's always after the clef. Okay, so this is a treble clef. Okay, so notes above middle C. And there's a key signature. Well, what are those two sharps? We see two sharps, and if you look at the videos before, we know that they are for Father and Charles. So Father Charles. So F and C sharp. So any F or C on the staff itself will have to be raised. So let's take a look here and know our notes. From D to E flat. So that's the question, D to E flat. We see that the key signature doesn't affect these two notes. But let's take a look. From D to E flat, all right? D to E flat. Okay, you see here? So we, because they're different letters on different line spaces, you would know that this is a diatonic semitone. So DS, D for different, because you see they're on different lines and spaces, but they're still only a half step apart. Take a look at these two. The spaces spell face, so we know that's an A to A sharp. A to A sharp. But you see how they're on the same space, the note itself? We know then it's just a half step away and it's a chromatic semitone. Take a look at here, what are these two notes? C to D. But they're not on the same line or space. See, that's a space and a line note. But C to D, what is C to D? All right, C to D. Look at, there's a, a key in between. Therefore, we know it's a whole tone. All right, that's one type of question. Same thing with this one. What is there? We have to look at the clef. Remember the clef? Always going to 
if there is no clef, the notes mean nothing. So this clef we know is for the bass clef. All right, it's notes below middle C. And there's one sharp. One sharp, of course, what is it? It's an F sharp. Okay, so right away, the chromatic semitones are so easy because if they're on the same line or space, boom, we know right away it's gonna be chromatic semitone. Okay, and then be careful to look at the keyboard or a picture of the keyboard when you get asked these questions to see if there's a note or a key in between to determine whether it's a whole tone or a half or a half step. I'm going to give you a type of question that you can also get asked. They will say to write, write a chromatic semitone above the given note. So for instance, let's do this in the treble clef. Okay, we're going to loop around, okay? Here's the note they give you, and they'll say, write a chromatic semitone above, okay? Read the question carefully because look to see if it says above or below. A lot of students fail to read the full question correctly. So what would we do? If it's chromatic, first thing you do is write it on the same line as the note. Now we want to make, if we don't do anything, that means it's the same note, it's just E and E. But we want to go a half step higher, okay? So E to E sharp. So E sharp is enharmonically an F, okay? But can also be spelled as an E sharp, okay? Let's do another one. Let's do one in the bass clef. They could say to you, write a diatonic semitone below. So let's take this, and this is E. All right, in the bass clef, that's an E. So a diatonic semitone, if this is E, we know it's going to be just a half step because it says semitone. We know we need to land here. Okay, I can't put it on the same as I on the same space because that would make it chromatic. So what do we do? Okay, we are going to therefore make it a different letter. That means we have to go from D up. And we're going to put the sharp. So E to D sharp is a diatonic semitone below. All right, so pretty much that's what you do. So remember, if you get asked for chromatic, keep it on the same line or space. If you get asked diatonic, look at the question to see if it goes up or down. If it goes up, write it on, if this is a line note, write it on the space right above. Okay, and then check to check your answer or on the keyboard to see. So of course, this means nothing without a clef. So I made this a, ba a bass clef. Okay, that's a G to an A. So a G to A is a whole tone, right? So G to an A, you see there's a note in between, that's a whole tone. If I wanted to make a, a diatonic semitone, I would make it an A flat. Now, very important to see your clef because let's do the same question if it was the treble clef, okay? So if it's the treble clef, this for now is E to F, E to F. What do we have? We have a diatonic semitone. All right, so that is a quick lesson on our semitones. Again, you've been listening to Mozart for the Mind. They have done tests on it, that listening to Baroque music a little bit, uh, 10 minutes before an exam, will make you smarter. So we'll see you soon. Take care.